Now, let's assume you have an application, and uh, mm -hmm. so it's a standalone applicable. Uh, it's a standalone web application, and mm -hmm. uh, you are asked to make that application highly available. But okay. also, you have to keep in mind that uh, the application uh, should be accessible at in multiple geographies mm -hmm. by multiple different clients. There shouldn't be any latency. It should have a high available database. Mm -hmm. And it should be failure resistant when it comes to your business logic part. Also, your application should have a very strict uh, security controls. Okay. And what and after you explain me the application, uh, tell me about what are the cost effective features that you have kept in mind. Okay. Um, so to make our application highly available so firstly um we sh uh, we can keep the backups we can take snapshots of our application uh, for the database um, like aws rds that that has a read replica and uh, and a standby uh, standby um, cluster uh, standby instance so whenever there is a failure in the main rds uh, uh, instance so always uh, aws is maintaining that high uh, high availability already and it is uh, like there is a failover to that uh, standby uh, cluster so that is synchronous replication of your database so that we can we can use that feature uh, for the security feature uh, we our cluster should follow the principle of least privilege so we should uh, keep our instances the security group of of our instances uh, uh, of our ec2 instances only receive traffic from the load balancers um, we can provide NACLs to limit our access uh, we can like after that we can also use various other features of aws like um, for the security purpose we can use inspector so it will keep you guiding on whatever what are the uh, where you have vulnerabilities in your security feature so we can always or, uh, we can always fix them um, we can also use guard duty and you know for the web uh, for the ddos attacks we can use uh, AWS Shield. So there are various services, but yes, they will cost us. Um, so we keeping all this in mind, we can also use uh, AWS, um, AWS Inspector has five features. So it also tells you about cost optimization. So where you can cost, cut the cost. So you can either turn that on or you can always before implementing anything look for the pricing uh, so aws has provided provided us aws uh, pricing calculator so we can always add on the services the size of the instances uh, of the clusters and in the clusters so we can always have that um, you know approximate pricing uh, in our hand before implementing and during implementing uh, implementation as well, like we were maintaining the cost back. So uh, like we were comparing it for the past three months. So if there's an increase in this month, so we would, you know, do, do a deep interrogation into what happened extra this month. Uh, so we would uh, always like represent, uh, try to pinpoint where the extra cost went so we can minimize on that if it's not required, or we can use another best practice.